Hello folks and welcome back to Mod of the Month, where we showcase some of the best builds completed over the last month over in the BitTech forums. Up for grabs is a 16 gig kit of Vengeance Pro RGB memory, a choice in white or black LL120 fans, or a lighting node pro. As ever, if you want to get involved, all you need to do is post up a completed project log over on the BitTech forums. Enjoy the builds! First up, let's give a huge hand to last month's winner, the Iron Turnip by Cheapskate. This eccentric masterpiece stole the hearts of the forums, a fitting end to such an epic project log, I think, and a keen reminder that it's not always about filling a rig with shiny hardware for points. Now let's go and have a look at this month's contenders. In Project Trinity, Dennis went for a very sleek and modern aesthetic. A good part of this build involved learning how to use his CNC router, so naturally the build is full of CNC cut goodies, such as the Parvum inspired front panel and the subtle GPU block cover. The cooling loop is exceptionally clean, with Dennis opting to frost all of his tubes, the GPU block and the reservoir, using our tutorial on that subject no less. The interior of the rig was reworked in acrylic to produce a clean look, with the pass-throughs used to allow for a bank of parallel tubing runs from the major components. The theme is finished up by a deep yellow coolant, which not only matches the acrylic used throughout the mod, but is really brought out by the frosted finish. Creator is really quite a departure from Ali's usual style, being a case mod that's surprisingly faithful to the original Commodore chassis that the hardware is seated in. In fact, you could almost label it a sleeper build, as I think you'd be hard pressed to imagine that this rig is packing so much modern hardware under the hood from just a glance. There are tiny details abound in this project, ranging from the reworked panel work on the inside, to the status LEDs and even the GPU placement behind the screen. Speaking of which, to maintain the CRT aesthetic, Ali took apart the inbuilt monitor, then used resin to fill the glass front, behind which a modern flat panel was placed. This has a lens-like effect that I think really takes the screen mod to a new level. Very clever indeed. Sukuyomi began as a project that utilised the top hardware that Captain Squidward was able to obtain, the idea being that it would be a high-end PC that was highly capable for both gaming and media production for a good while. Inspired by Daniel Bolognese's Crystallized mod from the 2017 Corsair 570X competition, he went about replacing the internal chassis with a new laser-cut acrylic structure. Being clear though, this meant that he had to keep things clean, and that involved making custom cables held in place with rear-mounted cable combs, along with a hardline CPU custom loop. Other details also include a custom PSU shroud and painted fan frames. Project Timeless Warriors is very much a labour of love, perhaps more literally in this case than most however. Desk builds have a habit of being on the over the top side of things, with this one being no exception. Themed around the Japanese samurai, the impressive hardware is backed up with a matching aesthetic, with one half of the mod sporting a light theme and the other a dark one. Handmade details like the GPU backplates emulate the iconic Oyoroi armour worn by the samurai of feudal Japan. Smaller covers throughout the build also take the form of traditional buildings. The stars of the show, however, are the intricate engravings present on all of the major panels. These were done manually by Richie's wife and are formed from thousands upon thousands of tiny dots. I can only imagine the amount of patience required to do this sort of work, and they serve to make this rig truly unique. Well that's all for this month, folks. Remember that if you'd like to have a chance at seeing your own build featured in a mod of the month, all you need to do is post up a completed project log in the BitTech forums. And as ever, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future modding and hardware content. You can also find us over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and builds.gg. Take care folks, and we'll see you next time.